also there's a, a hen night as well also going on in Blackpool and good morning welcome back to a, a brand new video so today is a bit of a miserable day to be honest um, after the glorious few days we've had it's now as we're a bit windy and uh, the rain is starting to, uh, to come down on this this Saturday morning but nevertheless we're in high spirits so we're gonna have a, a bit of a walk around Blackpool um, and just see what's going on so I'm not too sure what is uh, what, if there's any attractions on today but I'm sure if there is we'll go and find them so uh, come and join me Just near Hounds Hill, and you see they are a large lorry, and they're trying to reverse it in. I think he's having a bit of a, a bit of a struggle. So this could be a this could be a bit of a, an interesting one. That's right next to the uh, glass in the shop. You certainly needs to be a bit of a bit of an expert for this one. Just see how much of a, a tight squeeze this really is. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And you can see he's uh, right next to that shot glass wall. So he's literally millimetres to get round. Certainly, uh, drawn the crowds in this one, this uh, manoeuvre, and he did touch that gold star sign when he was uh, going in. So there's, uh, there's some skill uh, getting up there. So we're just off uh, Springfield Road, and uh, there's a bit of an interesting building. Sort of is a an old church, or what used to be a church, possibly. And this one, and I'm just gonna. Have a walk just a little bit near the uh the inside because you can see it's uh, those little smash windows there's either in fact possibly this used to be one building but this there's one here and uh, you can just see all in the uh in the front here the uh gas main looks to be in a gut out sort of dodgy wire in there you can just see all the uh cans and everything just abandoned wine bottles and all sorts so yeah it's a bit of a, a, bit of a strange one this one and like i said it's uh i think this part is possibly abandoned but you can see it used to be all one building oh so, yeah a bit, of a, a bit of a strange one that one and the uh, shop on the corner there that got badly damaged by uh one of the storms they got storm Aisha, uh, and the whole of the front completely came apart. And you see, the uh, several months later, they got the uh, the front back up, but they haven't put the uh, the signage up or anything. And you can see there's uh, several hotels along here, like the uh, Somerville. That's uh, that's boarded up. I'll just show you. It's just the car pulled up. And you see that one's a uh, huge, huge like a B and B guest house. That one's boarded up as well. Again, this is just on that Springfield Road. So we'll just head a little bit further on into town um, and just see what else is uh, going on this glorious day. And uh, looks like they're in, uh, they're in high spirits on this uh, Saturday. The rain is uh, eased up a little bit now, which is always good. And uh, yeah, got the old, uh, the old music cheering along to it so it's just near uh, Charles Street and you can see most of these now have been uh, boarded up through uh, compulsory purchase by uh, the council um, so this is going to become a university complex 
you still see there's a, a few houses lingering on until the uh, they get the right price from the council but you can see most of these now have, uh, they've sold up and sold out um, to the council so it's only a matter of time um, before the uh, the rest of the street finally uh, gives into the demands takes that price and uh, makes a new life for themselves so yeah this is a uh, this is Charles Street so this is just the uh, the other end of Charles Street and you can just see uh, the amount of houses has gone now you see the odd one still uh, looks like there's about sort of three or four still left left on the street and like I said probably just waiting for that final price before uh, before they take it so we're gonna head on a little bit more into town see who else is uh, lurking about and what is going on um, so we did manage to capture the uh, the, the electrical fire um, which started on the central pier and we was actually uh, had a bit of a shout out from the uh, the local gazette which is fantastic i'll pop a link into that video as well um, if you haven't seen that so that's a, a pretty good one so no one was uh, no one was hurt so today we are joined by daily vlog adventures i'll just uh, pan the camera around so you can uh, say hey hello guys, how are we all doing and don't forget if you enjoyed this enjoying this video then hit that like button comment down below and hit the subscribe button so thank you very much for uh, for that daily vlog so yeah if you haven't seen his channel i'll pop a link in the description uh, go and have a look he does some great content as well so we're gonna head on to a bit of a town and see what else is uh, going on so uh, a bit of a, a bit of a different angle you see the civil service hub there in the uh, in the distance and we're just off cookson street and you can see there's a building i'll just uh, show you around to the right so it's like that was a uh, was a building here so it must have been uh, caused by possibly another fire but it looks like they're uh, they are possibly developing it you can see all the breeze blocks there and uh work looks like it will be commencing um, very shortly so yeah it's just off cookson street and uh, as you can see that building there which was uh, adjoined to the one which is gone and you can see the remnants of the uh, the previous building So this is Millbourne Street, and uh, if you're into your, uh, your Thai massage and things like that, so these are open more or less 24 hours a day. So if you are into that, your Thai massage and your spas, get yourself down at Millbourne Street and Cookson Street. So here's the uh, the multi-million pound um, civil service hub and what we're going to do, we're going to have a, a sneak peek just see how development is going, so you see the uh, crane there whipping up, so they are still working on a Saturday so they're, uh, they're really sort of full steam ahead with this project and this one will be open um, early next year, so uh, yeah, watch this space so like I said, uh, I believe HMRC they're going to be occupying the building about 1500 seats and also um, the civil service as well so another street just near Millbourne Street and Cookson Street this one is King Street and you can see one after another shops what used to be you know sort of gents clothing alterations the, uh, all sorts of things down here they've got tattooists and literally, literally so most of the shops are sadly sadly gone um, so which is a which is a real shame uh, you see we've got the, uh, the old pubs and everything there uh, in the corner there deli foods cash converters and the iconic tower And what a project this is uh, this is going to turn out to be you see the uh, huge huge amount of scaffolding right along the uh, the back which wraps right around the front on these businesses and that is uh, that is some job 
just uh, look at that. So that's just off the, just off Corn Street. That is, uh, that is one hell of a job, that one. So I sort of bring you this one. It's a bit of a unique shop. It's, it's long, long gone. Um, it's on Alfred Street. So who remembers all these little uh, things? So they had like the older, uh, the older Wii, Nintendo, Alienware, all the things. IBM, you know, sort of things you don't really hear of anymore. Um, so the, you know, back in the day, these two, the uh, repairs and things, and again, another one, sadly, uh, sadly closed down. So another, another huge, huge property, uh, and this used to sell. Um, bed, so it used to be called the Three Sweets Beds back in its day. And it's been there, sort of closed down for, for many months, many years. And now there's actually uh, the worship in there, and uh, they do sort of songs and things like that. So yeah, that's uh, it's at least it's at least been used for something. But yeah, it's sadly uh, sadly gone many many years ago. So come on, make me an offer. The uh, the Le Leonard Jules diamonds. So I wonder if the diamonds are still inside, and in which is uh, which is included in any offer you make. So there's a uh, there's one. So I'm not too sure if I ever saw that open, to be honest. Um, but let me know in the comments if you uh, if you did. So this is um, Back Church Street, and uh, I never knew. And there's a place called Dirty Blondes. So I'm not too sure if it's a, a nightclub or something, or if it's, uh, well, I don't know what the, what it is, to be honest. But yeah, it's called uh, Dirty Blondes, Back Church Street. And it is, a, it is on a bit of a, a back alley as well. Uh, yeah, Dirty Blondes. Let me know in the comments if you know what Dirty Blondes is. So uh, another new business opened up. I think it was today it opened up. It's the Coffee Americano. And that's opened up just off uh, Talbot Road. And a bit of a funny story, I won't keep you too long. But they left the keys in the door about a week ago, unlocked. We, uh, we popped in, uh, there's nobody in, so we had to hand the keys to uh, the station, which is the, uh, the pub, just opposite there. So we handed the keys into there. Um, so it looks like they've had uh, Possibly builders or something, and they left the keys uh, and the shop completely unlocked. So that's opened up today. And another new one, Istanbul and Kabul. Uh, just off Talbot Road, or on Talbot Road, shall I say. And this one is opened up soon, so uh, that'll be a, a good one to check out. So I just popped onto uh, Queen Street and see, looks like there's a there's a stag, stag party of some sort, possibly, going on. So this is all going to be uh, heaving tonight on this, uh, this uh, wet and miserable weekend so far. So I hope you enjoyed that. A bit of a walk around, something a, a little different of Blackpool, some new places. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, I uh, think about hitting the subscribe button for, for more videos like this and uh, different things we do cover in Blackpool. And also give the uh, video a like if you did enjoy it. So until next time, take care of yourselves and it's a bye from me. Bye bye.